Shalom, how are you? This is Nabia, just coming to you with a very short message. I wanted to say some things about dance. And if you think about dance, what is it? Dance is just another way that you communicate with your body. And we've been designed to communicate without words. When you think about that, you can think about sign language. Someone that can't speak, someone that cannot hear. They're able to still communicate. Um, the, a very famous person was Helen Keller. She was blind and she could not speak. And she really had a hard time. You could do some research on her, but um, she, she had a very influential life. And she had a very full life after she came out of her stubbornness. Uh, because she was so used to doing things her own way and she was very angry and she was a very bitter child. But eventually somebody worked with her that was able to teach her how to communicate. And so when you think about movement and you think about dancing, you see how you are able to communicate. Um, and how do we know that this is possible? You can look at someone's countenance and tell if they're angry or sad. And even if they don't have that angry or sad or bitterness, you know, coming out of their face or, or out of their body, you can look into their eyes. You know, we, we always hear things like the, the eyes are the windows of the soul and where the seed of your soul is, it has a story to tell. And so as you begin to um, research yourself and evaluate yourself and how you speak, you'll see that you do have the capability of verbally verbally explaining how you feel about a certain situation or or how you are feeling emotionally. The seat of your soul, the place where your your will and your emotions live and thrive, they 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 culminate together to tell a story. And so your body is a a vehicle where that story can be manifested. And so as you are moving and you are expressing and, you know, some people, they're very expressive with their hands, like myself. That's what I do. My hands are all over the place. And so um, I want you to be encouraged because you have a story to tell. And so even if you're a person that doesn't really speak much, you still speak very much, I assure you. And so I just want you to be encouraged. Think about these things, about how you are able to express the story that lives on the inside of you. You can express your emotions. You can express your joy, your pain, and you can share it with others. And you can, you know, you can encourage somebody by the way you move, by the way you walk into a room. They'll see that you are confident. They'll see that you are sure. They will see that you are somebody that they want to get to know. Even if they don't know anything about you, these things really do happen. And so, I just want to leave that with you and think about it, notice it, watch yourself, research and evaluate yourself. What is my movement? What story am I telling? What am I expressing today? When you go to work, when you go to school, when you're at the store, what is it that people see about me? Think about that. Your body is telling your story. <laughs> Enjoy. Shalom.